Yep, you absolutely read that right. I once actually said no to a student uh, in taking in one of my boot camps. So I'll share the entire story and this story will help you to actually become a better learner. Now, the best part about being a human being is actually to become a learner. And it's not about programming or pen testing or whatever you are learning, you should be a best learner. And this video will help you quite a lot. So why did I say no to a student in one of my boot camp? And you will be surprised that the student was ready to give me even two times or the three times of the money that I usually charge in my offline boot camps. So he was ready completely to pay that much amount of money. But still, I did say no for a very, very strong reason. And this incident will help you to understand that. So let's get started with that. Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. So in case you are new to the channel, we talk about programming and a web app, mobile app and pretty much everything related to technology in, in here. So in case you are new here, do consider subscribing. Now let's get back on to the point. Now I do sometimes take offline boot camps and uh, to be honest, these boot camps are uh, very, very powerful ones and uh, I do host them sometimes. The number of students are limited and these are being organized all over the globe depending on where I'm getting collaborations. And uh, sometimes I do host online boot camps as well. And luckily for me, these online boot camps are always filled up uh, and students are waiting in here to join those camps. Now, recently, about a six months ago, I said no to one of the students. And you might be asking, hey, uh, why you said no? Did the seats were filled up? No seats were not filled up actually. That was a very initial day and seat didn't got filled up that day. So the student said, I want to learn from you and want to join your bootcamp. Have been waiting since two months and now I want to join it. I said, you are most welcome. That's what I do. I want to take you in. And he said, what you're going to teach? And that's a lovely question. Whenever you are coming up into the bootcamp or joining any class, you should have an idea of the, what the curriculum will cover. And luckily for me, I do have a lot of video courses that exactly shows you what app we are going to build up or what project we'll be doing up, what websites, web pages we are going to create up. So everything is there. I don't want to cheat the students. I just display everything that this, these are the things we'll be doing. And I exactly did the same. I showed him the entire projects and entire curriculum. And what he said to me was surprising. He said, these are not the detailed ones. I want more detailed one. I want to learn everything. And I said, okay, just wait for 15 more days because as soon as we finish up this bootcamp, we do have advanced one. And these are the topics for advanced one. And he said, yeah, this is okay, but this is not everything. I want to learn everything. And that got me a little attention there that what do you mean by everything? What do you want to actually learn? Just name me the topic. And he said, uh, there is no such topic. I just want to learn everything about this particular subject. And I said, uh, no, I don't have that much of the time to just teach everything because honestly, I don't know everything. And he said, I'm ready to pay you three times or four times or whatever you are charging. And I want to take your personal time to learn everything. And that is the time where the bell rang into my mind. Ding, 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 ding. This student is not for you. This student will never get satisfied. Although the student was really humbling, but that ding, 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 ding was really nice there. Uh, simply because I would not be able to satisfy that student. No matter what I do, that student will always be carving and will be saying, I want more. I want to learn everything. Let me tell you the fact in here. Ask any programmer who has been designing iOS app for, for many years, many, many years, and he'll be still saying, I'm learning still. I, I'm, I don't know everything still. Ask any swimmer, any Olympic medalist swimmer he, swimmer, he will say, I'm still learning new techniques. Ask any basketball player, he will say, I'm still learning the new things. So there is no such thing that can teach you everything about anything. Whether it's a web development, whether it's pen testing, it's uh, iOS development or Android, pretty much anything. There is no such thing uh, that can teach you everything. And a lot of people think that if I'll buy this course, I'll be ninja in the topic. If I'll buy this book or I will go that institute, I'll learn everything. No, it's not. You make sure you understand learning is not a goal. It's a process. It's a journey that you need to have. 
Yes, of course, these books, these online courses, these offline training gives you a little bit push in that right direction so that you can follow up uh, in the right manner, right direction. But these are not going to teach you everything. You have to do your own research and eventually life will teach you a lot of things. You have to spend 10, 20 years in the domain to know a lot of things. Still, you will not be able to learn everything. So I don't take these kinds of students in my boot camps who just keep saying again and again, I want to learn everything, I want to learn everything. Yes, it's a good thing, but expecting everything from one course, that's a bad idea. That's, that's not something that I expect from you. I expect that students who are watching this particular channel uh, must be a good learner first. Programming, pen testing, these are, these are different things. These are later on. First, become a good learner. Okay, and good learning means the journey is never ending. It's not a goal that you can achieve. It's a journey. The nearer you will become, uh, be at the goal side, then it's a good thing. Okay, so I hope this incident has helped you quite a lot in understanding what the learning is process is, what to expect in an online course, what to expect from a book or from an offline institute or anywhere, wherever you are learning, be happy and keep learning. I hope this video has helped you quite a lot in understanding a lot of things and has given you a lot of open-mindedness things to you as well. So in case you like this video, do hit the subscribe button and I'm reading all of the comments. Make sure you ask a great question so that I can make next video and can feature you in the snapshot in here, okay? So I'll definitely catch you up in the next video.